Hi, today we're going to be looking at what different appliances we can run off of our solar power system all at the same time. So we've already done quite a few videos on our solar power system and I'll put the links in the description below for those, but quite a few questions have been asked about what we can actually run off of the system that we've got. Now the system that we've got has been designed to also be able to run a workshop. So we have, um, we've gone all in. We've got a um, Victor and Quattro 10,000 VA inverter. Uh, we've got 20 LG 355 watt solar panels on our roof. And um, we're using two MPPTs both of which are Victron, and we are charging into seven Pylon Tech US 3000C batteries. We haven't reached its limits yet, um, but today we're going to run a whole load of different appliances all at once to see if we get anywhere near. We already have a fridge plugged in and a chest freezer. We'll use the Victron Connect app to show you our usage as we go through our experiment today and um, at the moment our batteries are 99% charged and even though it is sunny that means that the panels are only kind of trickling 223 watts in. Let's get started. So the three main things that we're going to be using today all at the same time is we're going to use our washing machine, we're going to use our tumble dryer which is quite a new thing that we've added um, to our setup and we are going to be using our water pump as well. We collect rainwater and we filter it ourselves um, and as part of that we use a water pump to power it from the tanks where it's stored to the filtration system. So um, that kicks in um, on and off through the day whenever we draw on the water and so it will of course kick in when we use the washing machine. Okay, so I'm in the building that was originally built to house the water filtration and the generator. Um, however, as our systems have improved, it has gradually become a utility room as well. So in here we've got the washing machine, we've got our newly installed tumble dryer and also we've got our chest freezer. Um, up here we have got the um, control for our pump and our water pump will be kicking in as we use uh, the washing machine and so that will be using power as well. So. We'll start with the washing machine, uh, see what that uses, and um, then we'll start with the tumble dryer as well and see how we go. Okay, so the washing machine is on and that's the usage. Let's see what it does. Still well within the limits of what we can do. Okay, so we have turned the tumble dryer and the washing machine on, which means the pump is running as well. And we're operating between 4,000 and 4,500 watts. So now we're gonna switch some of the smaller things on as well as we're still within our capabilities, which is about 8,000 to 9,000 watts, depending on temperature. So, let's start turning some other things on. Okay, so TV's on. That's had almost no impact whatsoever. In fact, something's dropped down because it's gone 2,200 and foot. Yeah, so that's, yeah, so it looks like at the same time, the tumble dryer is up to temperature, so that's had absolutely minimal impact. So we will keep an eye on this because we, um, need to make sure that the tumble dryer doesn't go up too much because although our inverter can cope with a surge of up to 20,000 watts, um, that's not something that we want to do. So we'll keep an eye on this, um, but we're gonna try a few other things through the house. So let's turn on the electric radiator, which we sometimes use in the morning to take the chill off the room. That's gone up a little bit more. Hard to tell though because the tumble dryer's dropped off, but yeah, still we're still fine. Okay, so now we're going to put some lights on. Um, we don't think that they're gonna be very much at all, but it's still interesting, so we'll pop them on. Hi. 
hardly any impact at all. No. We are running a uh, tumble dryer, washing machine, Freeze. freezer, fridge, telly, lights. Okay, let's try some other things. Okay, vacuum. So just to summarise, we started with our fridge and our chest freezer already on. We then turned on our washing machine and through that also activated our water pump, um, which is part of our water filtration system, uh, which is moving the water from the tank to the filtration system. And we then um, also switched on our tumble dryer. Those were the items that had the biggest impact on our power usage. Once those were up and running, we then came in and used our TV our lights and our vacuum cleaner and we were still well within the capabilities of our system and I don't think we have reached 5,000 watts through the whole thing um, considering our system can go to 8,000 to 9,000 watts depending on the temperature uh, that's fantastic for us and really promising for a workshop in the future so um, really pleased with that, um, really pleased that our DIY system is working and that we're not exceeding our capabilities and our limits and um, it's really exciting. I hope this video has been useful. If you have any other questions or if there's anything else you would like us to um, include in a video, please let us know. We would love it if you liked this video and subscribe to our channel and um, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thank you.